In this video, we'll be going over jump games, so give an array of non-negative integers nums. You're initially positioned at the first index of the array. Each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. Determine if you are able to reach the last index. So in our first example, we have 2, 3, 1, 1, 4. We initially start at index 0, and we can make one jump to index 1 here, and we are allowed to take three jumps, 1, 2, 3, to reach the end of the array. So we can return true. Let's go over the thought process. Let's first find a brute force approach. We can implement a cursive depth first search approach. This means for each of the index i, we can check if we can reach the end of the array with with up to nums i steps. This means we will recursively check all of the options from i to i plus nums i in order to determine if we can reach the last index. Now this approach will cost us of k to the n time complexity, where k is the number of is the average number of steps in each of the index. And n is the length of the imperate. This is because in each of recursive call, we allow us we are allowed to take to take up to k steps and each, each recursive call has a depth of n. Now let's find a more optimized approach. In order to find a more optimized approach, we have to scan from right to left instead. We will be scanning from left to right while keeping track of the latest index that can reach the last index. Now let's go over a simple example. So in our first example, our latest index that can reach the, the last index is currently at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So latest index is equal to 4 that can reach the last index. Now let's move on to the next elements. It's currently at 1 here. So we're currently at 1. And now we want to check if in this position we can reach the latest index so one if we take one step you can take you can reach the latest index this means this position this index can also reach the last index so we want to update our latest index to three because three is the index of the current one now we want to move on to the next elements it's currently at one here now we want to check if this position can reach the latest index. One can take one step to reach this index. This means this element can reach the latest index, which also means can reach the last index. So we want to update our last index to index 2, which is the current index. And now we want to go to the next iteration. We're currently at this position. And 3, we can take one step. We are allowed to take 1 to 3 steps, but if we take one step, we can reach this index already, and which means we can reach the latest index, which will also allow us to reach the last index. So we update last index to one. And now for the for the last one, we have our uh, we are at this position, and then we're index zero. And index zero, if we take one step, we can reach this index, which is our latest index, and we have found. Uh, and then we can we are allowed to reach the last index, so we update our latest index to zero. Now, if our latest index is zero, which is, is our initial starting position here, and is the last latest index, and being the latest index also means you are able to reach the last index. That means we can return true if the latest index is equal to zero. Now let's go over a pseudocode. So we're going to create a variable j to keep track of our latest index. So it's going to initially be the at the end of the array, so it's going to be lumps down length length lumps down length minus one. So I'm going to iterate through the indices from lumps down length minus two to zero, denoted as i. We're scanning from right to left. So if the current elements can reach the latest index, so lumps i plus i is greater than or equal to j, that just means we can reach the latest index 
on the current position. We can update the latest index to the current position. Then we can return true if j is equal to zero. Else return false. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to all of n, where n is the length of the input array. Visit each index once. And our space complexity is equal to all of 1. Now let's go over the code. So I'm going to create a variable j to be our latest index. And then we're going to iterate through the loops, uh, iterate through the indices from the second to last element to the first element. If the current element, nums i plus the current index, can reach the last index, so greater than or equal to j. That means we can update j to the current index, then we can return true if j is equal to zero. This means we allow the latest index is equal to zero. This means and also the latest index can reach the end of the array. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.